can do infinite time. So that's the end of the day I'm going to leave for you guys in Mini Adventures of Shadow and Mini by Angel Colvine. I believe the links are in the description. And I'm going to be reading Chapter 6, Turning the Tables. And she has written in the open outfit by Skim. That shadow is 16 and Amy is 15, and that the rating goes up T at this particular chapter. Okay, so, yeah. Let's begin. Hello, Rose. Amy looked up, startled as Shadow approached her. Today, Amy had decided it was time she gave the Ebony Mouse a little break, especially after what was said to last. Yet, here he was. Uh, hi, Shadow. Wasn't expecting to see you, she said. I know. He sat down next to her under the shade of the wide canopy in the park and looked out onto the meadow and stretched as far as the eye could see, tapping the tip of her boots together repeatedly as they sat in silence. Amy wondered if Shadow had meant what he had said. You know, about liking her. So, uh, What's going on? he asked, trying to start a casual conversation. Fine, Shadow replied, simply. How have you been? The pink female was busy trying to decipher his current tone. Okay, I guess. I mean, I need to go shopping soon. And it's getting colder now, so, yeah, just a bunch of things needed to be done. She said, looking down at a dandelion, she had picked. Shadow looked at her as she twirled her in her fingers. I've seen you. And found your Phil Allen. Yep, they grow in this meadow, especially, which is why I come here. Specifically, not especially. I cannot leave today. Not very much either, so it's maybe because I'm there. It would seem so, he trailed off, looking from one end of the field to the other, noticing nothing but the light fluff, the little plant, and some still trying to bloom here and there, a sea of yellow and white. Is that all you do when you're here? Not really, sometimes. When people aren't around, I like to roll around in them. You know, just to the bottom of the hill, but it's fine. Then I'll sit and make flowers, and Jamie said, staring off in his face. This sounds dangerous. You say that about everything I do, that as you put it, reckless and unnecessary. Won't you ruin your clothes? Don't you care if you roll into an ant now? What if someone is watching and thinks you're a lunatic? Shadow asked and the female gave him a face. I need to get rid of the stupid red dress. There are no ant nails here, I would know, and if they think I'm crazy as a rock, I just have an imagination. And he rattled off and looked over at him. Understand now? Sure. Okay, they sat in silence for a few more minutes before Shadow decided to break it for once. It seemed today he was turning the tables, getting to know her. Any other places you like to visit when you're not around your obnoxious bunch of friends? The pink female rolled her eyes. We're not obnoxious, we're just... We're just enthusiastic. And yes, I like the night girls on the beach. I sometimes go to this little cafe on 56th Street. Or the library on me, and I go to the mall and went to shop or buy a thing or two, a bunch of other things. Why are you writing this down? The pen scribbling away on a piece of paper stops the shower, looked up and hit them. I'm not, but you, I wasn't. I just, nope. Silence, silence. Okay. You know what? I think I have everything I need. Shadow stood from his flat to get walking out. Everything you need, what do you need? You'll find out soon enough, and with that, he disappeared in a blur of black. Amy looked at the spot where he had once stood and shrugged. Standing, she looked around before launching herself down the hill of dandelions, giggling with excitement. Excellent. So that word properly. Better diction, diction is important. And that is chapter 6, which is adorable and fluffy. And the imagery of shadow display. Like scribbling random things down and he's good and go out with the right hand. Like, it, it amuses me a little bit. So, yeah. Um, well, question of the day for today. You know, what is your favorite animal? Let's go with that. Because I would like to know that I'm too. And I will probably do some scribbles, or some sketches of 
whatever entities I get, because I do that with uh, BNDs, uh, question for the days too. So, you yeah, um, the need for the story for you to read is in the description below. If there's any stories or things you would like to read, please feel free to suggest them. I have in a very, I want to read fluff fluff mood today. That was never my favorite today. But, yeah. So feel free to suggest things like that, or if you want me to read anything you like right now, we'd be more than happy to. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for listening. Bye-bye.